Previously on AI The Somnium Files. Oh my god. Oh my god. And now back to diving inside people's minds. Hello, hello, hello. My name is Nirino and welcome to another episode of AI The Somnium Files. Last episode, we went to talk, uh, we went to Lemnis Gate to talk with Tota, and we interrogated Iris. We realized that Iris might actually be much more, uh, much more of a suspect than we initially thought, and we also synced with her to realize that she had a lot of memories about the Zodiac, approved, not the Zodiac killer, the Cyclops killer. And we also realized that uh, ooh, inside her Somnium, we saw that Date was the one who was killing all the women that the Cyclops killer killed. So how Iris had those memories is definitely a very interesting subject, to say the least. So now it's right after this dip sync. So let's just chat with uh, chat with the boss with Pewter. Let's try to piece together what's going on. Is Iris inside? I can't tell because the boss is obstructing us. Oh yeah, she's there. She's there. Okay, boss, what's up? The blue figure from the sink. Help me understand this. What I <clears throat> saw during the sink earlier, that was the scene of the original Cyclops serial killings, right? Yeah. So yeah. the person doing the killing was the original Cyclops killer. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. Did you see him? He was... I saw... your face. Yeah, that is... Um... So, don't worry. I'm not a murderer. I'm just saying I didn't kill them. Just saying. Ha, that would be funny if that was me. Ha. The original Cyclops killer was... It can't be. That's impossible. Date, you cannot say that for certain. I have a... Girl, fucking relax. You have no memories past six years ago. Oh, boy. Oh, no. So perhaps, Mr. Date, you are the killer. You're missing your left eye, so you steal them from others. Oh, no. Uh, um... Peter, um... You were a lot closer than I thought. I'm kidding. You can't be the Cyclops killer. Really? Of course not. Do you think I would hire a serial killer? That's not a good defense. <laughs> you interrogated Iris before the sink. What you saw in the Somnium was just a manifestation of the fear you put in her. Yeah, 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 yeah. Obviously, obviously, obviously it's the fear. Yeah, yeah, cope, cope. <laughs> About the original Cyclops uh, series. Didn't killings. I tell you? The entire case is a state secret. Yeah. No matter how many times you ask, I won't tell you anything. What about if I threaten you with a gun? How about then? Oh, what about the original Cyclops serial killings? Isn't that the same thing? The Cyclops killer appeared six years ago. Yeah. I lost my memory six years ago. There has to be some kind of connection. Daddy, don't self don't self incriminate. There isn't. It's a coincidence. Really? Really. Uh, if you say so, why did the original Cyclops killer appear in Iris Somnium? You can't dream of something you know nothing about. That she means Iris must know about the killings. Obviously. Her Somnium was really Six fucked up. Six years ago, Iris was 12. Did she witness the crime at age 12? And not just Ooh. one, but all four? Oh boy. Hmm. Boss has a serious look on her face. Pewter? Hello? The red figure from the sink. In the Somnium earlier, I saw someone else who might be the criminal. Who was he? I wouldn't know. We saw the same thing you did. About your original and new incidents. I don't believe there's any meaningful connection. Between the original and new Cyclops serial killings, I mean. I hope so. Why is that? The culprit is not the same. 
I am absolutely certain the original Cyclops killer could not have committed these crimes. How can you mm -hmm. be so sure? Because I can. Don't worry about it. Just trust me. I really don't like when people just say, just trust me, without explaining the reasoning. It's like, should I trust you? Is there any meaningful basis to trust you? Remember what the boss <laughs> said this morning. The original Cyclops killer has yet to be brought to justice. That is fair. After the investigation got going, it was taken over by the government and classified. Uh -huh. That was the last we heard anything about it. Of course, they paid lip service to the idea that the investigation was ongoing, but in reality, mm -hmm. it was dropped completely. All right. Uh, why did the original Cyclops killer appear in Iris' Som Somnium? I always want to see some. The Novium. Seeker does not always experience the Somnium they expect. Dreams uh -huh. are pieced together from memories, even repressed subconscious ones. Right. When using the Sync Machine for an investigation, we don't always see the memories we expect to see. True, yes. oftentimes a subject will subconsciously want to express their dark secrets and repressed memories. Yes. That is why we see them so often in Somnia. And why those Somnia are so useful for criminal investigations. But this is not a guarantee. We cannot control the content of our dreams, after all. Yes, I, w I was about to say that we should sometimes see, like, good dreams. Like, hey, I'm going through fields and, like, chilling and, like, walking, w having fun, like, walking around and shit. Like, we should see some of those dreams. Why did the original Cyclops killer appear in Irish Somnium? Oh, we're still on the it's same It's like line. I told you before. Dreams are pieced together from memories, even repressed subconscious ones. This can be expressed as an equation. Dream yes. D equals memory A plus memory B plus memory C. This, uh -huh. of course, means that dream D is a fictional event. However, mm -hmm. the same cannot necessarily be said about memory A, B, and C. Those happened in reality. Probably. In other words, <clears throat> fiction is built from combinations of reality. So what I saw in Somnium earlier. Mm -hmm. Yes. I believe Iris actually witnessed those events. Ooh, that is a really fucked up thought to have, because that means when she was 12, she just saw Pete saw murders of four innocent women take place and also witness how they had their eyes carved out and also we have that memory of that they hanging out with young iris so mm, are all memories real pewter you said that memories happen in reality right yeah you can have fictitious memories right but what about false memories yeah exactly how do we know if the memory really happened even false memories are built from the pieces of real ones. If you disassemble those pieces, you will find real events. Okay. What about things you see in movies or television? The events might be fictional, but the experience is not. Yeah. Our imaginations are limited to what we have seen. We cannot invent something whole cloth. Yeah. Summarize for me. I didn't learn anything from speaking with boss or pewter. If anything, the mystery only grew deeper. Peter shook me from my father. Dante, it looks like Iris is about to wake up. Got it. Go inside. I headed to the sink room. Iris, what the fuck is going on? Iris. <laughs> Dante said calmly. Iris, what the fuck? <laughs> hey, Iris. About that dream earlier. Dream? What dream? Ah, don't worry. Don't worry about there it. There is no point in asking her, Date. She won't remember the anything. The subject of a sink does not experience Somnium in the way that you do. They will not remember it. Then what about the Cyclops killer from six years ago? Cyclops killer? I remember hearing it on the news. <laughs> Wasn't it classified or something? How did you, how did you hear about it? But I was just it? a little girl. I don't remember anything specific. You don't? No. What about mm. the scene of the murder? I don't know. I've never been there. But... Hmm, you can't say but. Dreams are pieced together from memories, even repressed subconscious ones. Yeah. You can't dream of something you know nothing about. Yeah. Date, could you take Iris home? Huh? 
We do not have enough evidence to hold her. Even in Somnium, we couldn't find anything. The law demands that we release her. Yeah. Oh my god, why do I feel like Iris is gonna be the the next person dead? You cannot decline, Date. Shouldn't we put her, like, uh, under, like, protection? Like, protective something? I feel like just putting her home after this, like, brutal investigation, like, questioning is not a good idea. Date, could we make a stop first? Sure. Where? Marble. It's a bar in Golden Yokocho. What? You know about that place? Yeah, Mr. Okiura took me before. I was like about to say, yeah, I go, to, I go drinking there, yeah. Bro, I, get, I, I go get the piss there after a, a hard day of podcasting. Why do you want to go there? There's something I want to talk about. We can't talk here? It might take a while. We need mama. What do you think? There's no reason to refuse. Besides, there's a lot I want to ask her too. Hey, cool. All right, sure. I swear to God, if Mama is dead, I'm gonna be mad. Iris nodded and pulled out her phone. He, is she sending a now message to someone? To Ota, guaranteed. I was curious, but I didn't want to pry. It's Ota! I turned the wheel and drove to Marble. It's Ota! Guaranteed, and Ota is gonna be at Marble, because she, she'll be like, Oh my God, Date is questioning me. Please help. Bring the fucking Otakus. When we walked in, I didn't see Mama anywhere. <coughs> ah, of course. Tessa! Oh, Ota! What the fuck are you doing here? Why are you here? I was niling with Tessa earlier. She said she was going to Marble, so... I got here just before you did. Look, I was really worried about her. She was about to be charged with a serious crime. I feel like we need to sync with you, because you're going to be a lot easier to sync with. It's going to be like, oh, what's what's his uh, Somnium? Oh, it's like Tessa. That's it. It's like Tessa everywhere. Tessa posters, Tessa holograms, Tessa models, Tessa figurines, Tessa TV shows and shit. Where's Mama? Oh, she left a little while ago. She said something about going to help an acquaintance. Oh. She told me to watch the place until she got back. How well do you know Mama? Not at all. It's my first time here. <laughs> well, Mama is trusting. I wasn't particularly surprised. Mama's always dependent on the kindness of strangers ever since she opened Marble. Isn't your phone broken? Yeah, legit. No, this is my new one. You're huh. thinking of the one I dropped in that puddle. What was that thing about? Yeah. This actually works out nicely. I want to ask you something, Ota. It's about a Nile message you sent Iris. You said you wouldn't tell anyone about that thing. That you'd stay quiet no matter what. Hmm. Pretty sus. What were you talking about? Well, uh... Well... I'll tell her about the two-witter thing. I swear I'll do it. Jeez, fine! Just don't tell anyone else, okay? <laughs> oh my god, we're just abusing him with that one but secret. before I tell you, who's that? What? At the door. Someone's standing outside. Isn't it Iris? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god! <gasps> Ota, what the fly? Day four Monday, Yuk AI. What the fuck? Marble Monday, 2.48 a.m. And they ran away. Uh, of course. Okay, so either Ota or Tessa is dead. When I woke up, I was lying on the sofa. Where am I? My head was killing me and my memory was foggy. I felt a sudden pain in my neck. I shot up rubbing my neck when I looked over the counter I saw a monster staring back at me. It took me a few seconds before I realized it was just Mama. It looks like you're awake now. Hell yeah. As Mama spoke to me it all came rushing back I remembered everything. That piece of shit. That fucking simp. What time is it? It'll be 3 o'clock soon. In the morning, of course. Yeah, where's Ota? 
Ota, the boy I asked to watch the bar? You ran away. He's too old to be called a boy, but yeah. He was already gone when I came back. All I saw was you getting your beauty sleep on the floor. Of course. Damn it, Ota. What are you thinking? It appears that he took off with Iris. What were you doing during all this? My power was shut down due to the stun gun. Okay. Oh, yeah. I have rebooted in safe mode and am now operational. Good. Why didn't you wake me up? I tried. You wouldn't budge. I thought you huh. were passed out drunk, so I left you like that. Yeah, I just took your alcohol without thinking. Like, I took that bottle of Jaeger and was like, okay, walking down again. But I didn't have a glass in front of me, right? So you weren't drunk? No. Didn't have a single drop. No, oh, I thought you were drinking straight out of the bottle. Well, legit, just, just like Jaeger. the old days. Jaegering up. Fucking Ota, I swear to God, that fucking little fucking skis. Date. The boss is calling. Oh, how am I going to report this one? Oh, boy. Date, listen. Stay calm, but this is an emergency. Iris is dead. Just now, the killer... Well, just watch the video. What? I sent the address to Iba. What? Yeah. Is she Iris. breathing? She's breathing. Oh my god. Holy shit. No, that's... The criminal is streaming this live. What? Iba, the source. Identified. The Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse, Koto District. Okiura? Date, focus. We need to get to the site, now. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> oh my god. What the fuck is going on? I was like, oh, she's dead. And then like, no, she's not. And then you see the bus, bus on, it's like, oh, it's Saw. <laughs> Oh my god, what is going on? What's our ETA? Our destination is far from here. Oh boy. 20 minutes at the fastest. Holy please, shit. Please let me make it in time. I feel like it's gonna turn on now. <sighs> that sick bastard. <laughs> Look at the. Oh, it's a polar bear. Mm, and, yep. Well, Iris is gonna get sawed in half. Tessa! Oh. Hold on! I'll save you! Hota! What? What? Stay away from Tessa! Uh, is Ota the serial killer? He's definitely faking this. He's definitely faking this. I kept my foot to the gas the whole time. I could feel the sweat on my palms. Palms are sweaty, arms are heavy, vomit on his sweater already, mom's spaghetti. The engine raised a high pitched scream, but I could barely hear it. My heartbeat was pounding so, pounding in my ears, shaking me to the core. How much time had passed? The feeling of time itself had disappeared. Eventually, the car reached a long bridge. Shortly after, the image changed. Uh... <laughs> he just dies Zora as well. He's like, okay, two for one. No, it can't be. Yep, Zora is gone. No. Stop! Oh no. Oh yeah, it's going down. Oh yeah, it's going down. No! Uh. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh, oh my god. Uh, is he gonna wipe the camera? He's gonna wipe the camera. Well, we're too late. No! <laughs> no. Oh, boy. What the fuck? <gasps> Holy shit. Harbor Warehouse District. What the fuck?
Iris, what did you do? Take out your gun. Take out your gun. Maybe it's fake. Maybe it's fake. Trust, it's fake. What is going on? It's not Tessa. Is it Tessa? Did he put a costume on Tessa? What? What the fuck is going on? What is going on? Monday 10.02 a.m. What is going on? There you are. Finally. I was looking all over for you. Fuck, man. What? How did it ha- Was that a pre-recorded video or something? It's what is rare going on? to see you down like this, but it's understandable. You blame yourself for this, don't you? Beating yourself up about taking Iris to marble and about letting Ota get the upper hand um, on you. I didn't expect that guy. I mean, the guy was definitely an annoying, annoying little skis, annoying little freaking shroom, but man, like not, not to this extent. Am I right? Yeah. Shall I tell you what Investigation HQ thinks? I hope they don't think that I did. Ota Matsushita is a criminal stalker who committed murder-suicide. Wait, so he did both? Ota had a selfish love for Iris. He was under the delusion that Iris loved him too. But Iris mm. refused Ota. Oh, oh, so maybe? Ota decided that he and Iris should be together in the afterlife, killed her, then killed himself. That's one way to go. That's one way to go. That's a hell of a way to That's go. That's ridiculous. Ota would never kill Iris. Uh, legit. And how do you explain the other two murders? Iris's left eye was hollowed out. Yeah, they took it. Just like Renju and Shoko. Those three murders were definitely executed by the same person. But Ota's eye wasn't cut out, right? The new Cyclops killer. There's no way that's Ota. Too many pieces don't fit. Too many contradictions. Like killing Iris. Such as? Yeah. He wouldn't kill Iris. Hell no. Ota had no in incentive to kill Renju. Maybe he was thinking like this. The reason Iris and I can't be together is because her agency prohibits it making the president, Renju, the ultimate bad guy in his mind. Mizuki mm. is Ota's close friend. Yeah. Do you really think Ota would kill his friend's father? Hell no. It ain't happening. Ota had no incentive to kill Shoko. Shoko was married to Renju. Maybe he was trying to get at Renju by killing her. That's a stretch. They've been divorced for years. Yeah, that's a hell of Ota a stretch. Ota knows all about it. He wouldn't use Shoko to get to Renju. Uh, Ota's behavior during the video. Stay away from Tessa! Ota showed himself on the stream. If he was gonna kill Iris and then himself, why would he do that? The only reason you would show yourself like that is to prove that you weren't the culprit. Ota and the polar bear on the screen at the same time would prove that they're not the same person. That behavior would be yep. totally unnecessary if he was gonna commit suicide anyway. Yup. Well, maybe he wasn't planning on dying at first. Maybe he was like, oh, I murdered my idol, and then was like, well, fuck. Fuck, I made a mistake. God damn it. I always do this. I always, like, murder people without thinking. <laughs> oh, that's Oda's line of thinking. After he killed Iris, he realized that he couldn't live with himself. Maybe. So he lies down on the workbench and turns on the ice-cutting machine himself? Yeah, his eyes are not scooped out. I don't buy it. Nope. That's also, that's a, like... Out of all the ways to go, that's the most brutal one you can think of. I couldn't do it. The culprit was wearing a polar bear costume, probably to hide their identity. But yep. if murder-suicide was the plan, 
The costume served no purpose. There are some additional discrepancies. I analyzed yep. the investigation report. Judging by his wound, Ota was stabbed in the side by a kitchen knife or something similar. Are you sure? Yep. I am. Yep, yep. I told the boss what Iba found. Oh, I know that. Well? Ota could have stabbed himself. Maybe he thought it would be a fatal wound, but when it didn't work, he went for the ice cutting machine. You're stretching this so hard. Like, oh, so hard. Then, shouldn't we have recovered the kitchen knife from the scene? Maybe he threw it in the ocean. There's not enough time. Boss, come maybe, on. Maybe. Ota goes out to the water, stabs himself in the gut, throws the knife over the side, then walks back to the warehouse? Ain't happening. Well, I wasn't being serious. You're stretching this. I didn't think Ota was the culprit from the beginning. I was just playing devil's advocate for HQ. Really? Yes, really. Okay. Is Boss the murderer? Anyway, that would be Ota insane. didn't kill anyone, and he didn't kill himself. Here's what I think happened. Okay. So, pray Stay tell. Stay away from Tessa! Yeah. Ota knew Iris was kidnapped, so he rushed onto the scene. All That's when right. he saw the culprit wearing the polar bear costume. Mm-hmm. He tried to fight him off, but ended up being stabbed in the side. Makes sense. He was weakened and losing blood at the culprit's mercy. The culprit forced him into the costume, then under the ice cutting machine. And yep. then... Oh, yeah. Ah. Then, who is the culprit? The guy under the bear costume. I wish I knew. We're up to four victims, but Ota was a special circumstance. He wasn't specifically targeted by the culprit. Yep. Right. And he was the only one to not have his eye pulled out. So let's focus on the three other victims, Shoko, Renju, and Iris. They're all connected because by Renju. What connects these three? By Renju. Connections. If you find a connection between the victims, you find a connection to the culprit. That's the theory of investigation, right? Yep. You think the new Cyclops killer is related to them somehow? Guaranteed. Maybe, maybe not. But it's a good starting point. I really doubt it's just random people. Like, really, really doubt it. Oda's mother, Mayumi. Mayumi had motive for killing Iris and Renju. Mayumi hated Iris, and she didn't think well of Lemna's Gate either. And since Renju is the president, anyway, mm. the weak point is Renju's ex-wife, Shoko. I can't imagine why Mayumi would kill her. Bro, this sweet old lady, no. And above all else, she would never harm her only son, let alone kill him. N ain't happening. That's not it. Renju and Shoko's daughter, Mizuki. No. Killing her Azuki own- Azuki has the strongest connections with all three victims. Killing her own father and mother? Shoko and Renji were her parents. Nope. And she was close friends with Iris. Nope. She was good friends with Ota too. But that's why I could never believe Mizuki would kill all four of them. No. Nope. Thinking of her as a suspect is ridiculous. Also, she's not that tall and she's not that strong. Iris's mother, Hitomi. Hitomi and Renji are definitely linked. They were high school classmates, and she did say that she met Shoko twice. Mm -hmm. But I can't imagine she would kill Iris in such a gruesome way, no matter what the circumstances were. It seems impossible to me. Is her own daughter? For fuck's sake, Moma Kamakura. Kumakura. That's like the most likely Renju suspect. And Shoko were connected to the Kumakuras, but there's no connection to Iris. Congressman So Sejima. Renju, Shoko, and So. Hmm. There is a connection between Renju and Shoko through the Kumakuras, but again, yep. I can't see any clear link to Iris. Yup. Me. <laughs> I know Renju and Shoko, and I'm connected to Iris, but I have an alibi. Aside from Shoko, there's no way I could have killed any of them. Nope. Now, now that I think about it, Shoko too. I don't remember killing her. My memories from six years ago are missing, but I still have my memory of recent events. And if I start doubting myself now... Date, I can say without a doubt that there is zero possibility you are the new Cyclops killer. I, but are you the new I Cyclops killer? I have been working killer? with you for years. I know better than anyone that you are innocent. Okay, good, good. At least we have Ibar on our side. I thought it over, boss. Of the people I know, I can't peg any of them as the murderer. And no leads to pursue? No. Then there's only one thing you can do. Continue your investigation. Do whatever it takes to get the culprit. To get justice for the victims. Solid, solid, solid advice. You're right. Got it, boss. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do this. Holy shit, there's so there's so many places I can go to. 
old storage warehouse. I want to see the scene of the crime. That is like massively messed up. I want to see what how it looks like. Old storage warehouse, Monday. Holy shit. I stepped into the cold storage warehouse. The air conditioning wasn't running, but it was still cold. The temperature hadn't raised much at all. The cold air sunk into my skin, but the center of my body was burning hot. Bloodstain B. Is this Oda's blood? Bloodstain A. Iris and Oda blood. Workbench. Right here. Iris and Ota were... Yeah. I'm sure you are already aware of Ota's time of death. Just before I arrived. About 3.30 in the morning. And mm -hmm. the cause of death. Right, about that. Ota had a stab wound from a kitchen knife in his side. Correct. What was the exact cause of death? Probably was it a knife machine. wound or...? I cannot determine that. I can conclude that the knife wound was at least close to being fatal. Yeah. Even if Ota was still alive on the workbench, he was certainly on the verge of death. If he weren't already extremely weak, we would expect to see more signs of struggle. Yeah. Ice cutting machine. Iris and Ota were sliced in two by this ice cutting machine. Iris and Ota. Iris's estimated time of death and cause of death have been confirmed. Oh boy. Oh my god. The video was not a recording. It was a live stream filmed in real time. So he murdered Iris and then took her off the machine, raised the freaking saw up, stuffed Ota into a costume and then cut him as well which means iris's time of death is 3 20 a.m iris also had her left eye removed yeah and like renju and shoko iris's left eyeball has not been recovered yeah an eye cutting machine workbench Maybe Ota was trying to help Iris jumping at the criminal. That led to a scuffle and Ota ended up with a knife wound in his side. He lost all his power to fight back. It was forcibly put inside the costume then finally cut open by the ice cutting machine. But why? Why did the culprit put the costume on Ota? That's a good question. Iris and Ota's bodies are under autopsy. Their bodies aren't here anymore. Right here, Iris and Ota were... Yeah. A video camera and laptop. This is what the criminal used to stream. Breaking bear. All of these items have been bought from pawn shops and thrift stores. It would be difficult to determine a suspect from them. I have logged Smart. into the Wi-Fi in this warehouse. Okiura Fishery Co. Ltd. is listed as the owner. It is funny that uh, a freaking ice fishery has a Wi-Fi. However... I found the password written directly on the router. Anyone who saw it could have used it. Yeah. I have done some research. As the name suggests, the company is owned by the Okiuras. The same Okiuras we know. Who are the Okiuras? Renju's father created the company. Oh. Is... Does the criminal have some sort of grudge against the Okiuras? Another connection to Renju. No, actually. Currently, Okiura Fishery has nothing to do with Renju. The company has been managed by office representatives for the past 17 years after Renju's father died. Mm -hmm. Renju holds no shares and is not involved in the management. Mm -hmm. In short, Renju did not inherit the company from his father, and it was instead given to other persons. Right. But it can't be a coincidence. It certainly Definitely is suspicious. Not. Date, we should get moving. Officers from the local jurisdiction are checking the warehouse thoroughly. We will not find anything of importance here. Yeah, you're right. That is probably a good you point. You can ask CSI to inform you if they find anything. Something police... Well, customary succinct investigation, I don't know. Alright. Um... I'm heading out. Let me know if you find anything. I let them know, then left the warehouse. Yeah, I didn't want to ask them anything. Oh, we got a cutscene. That's cute. When I left the warehouse, I saw a pewter. Ooh, what is he doing here? Pewter? He walked up to me while I was trying to work it out. Date, I have to talk to you about something. Huh? About the original Cyclops serial killings. Ooh, thank you, Peter. 
Why this all of a sudden? Because I want you to solve this case, Mr. Date. Thank you, Buther. I want you to find who did this and bring them to justice. So, if I can help you, even a little. Why didn't you say anything at Abyss? The boss was there. Yeah, and the boss would would throw a hissy fit, uh, for sure. I couldn't speak openly in front of her. Yep. So, I decided to meet you here. All right, let's hear it. Please. Earlier, I told you that I was completely certain the original Cyclops killer couldn't have committed these crimes. Yeah. Yes, you did I say that. I am absolutely certain the original Cyclops killer could not have committed these crimes. Literally said the same thing. Thank you for quoting yourself. Let me explain why. I'll start Please. by telling you the identity of the Cyclops killer. Although, it's more accurate to say killers. More than one? There were more than one. In the first series of killings, the culprit had an accomplice. Right. One of them was born a murderous psychopath. The other is Rohan Kumakura, the previous chairman of the Kumakuras. What? They what? each had a role to play. Is that why Rohan killed himself? The murderer committed the homicide, and Rohan removed the eyeball. Mm-hmm. Who is this murderous psychopath? He was born with a brain dysfunction. Due to damage to the posterior pituitary gland, he was unable to properly secrete oxytocin. Oxytocin what is, is a peptide hormone linked to feelings of love, affection, and trust. Ah, so he literally was like, he didn't feel shit when we are talking about feelings of empathy. It is colloquially referred to as the love hormone. It causes a tranquilizing effect which improves mood and relieves stress. It is normally secreted when the body makes contact with an object of affection, such as an embrace or caress. I'm nice. sure you know what this implies, but he was unable to feel love in the way that we do. However, he was able to experience a substitute. Which His was... brain was wired in such a way that allowed him to feel satisfaction through other means. For instance, murder. Due to the unique idiosyncrasies of his brain, he was able to release large amounts of dopamine and endorphins by performing a certain action. Uh, let me guess, murder. What was it? Murder. Shocker! Dopamine is a hormone linked to the reward system of the brain. The pleasant feeling attained through accomplishment is dopamine. Endorphins are a kind of brain narcotic. They mm -hmm. dull pain and create a feeling of happiness. Yep. He got pleasure from killing people? It's slightly more complicated than that. Killing people mm -hmm. was the only way he could get pleasure. Oh, oh that is really um, something, to say the least. Um, yeah, if your only way to experience pleasure is murder, um, yeah, that is uh, probably not surprising that you become a, a murderous psychopath. He was 12 when he took his first life. Like a bird or that something? enlightened him to the pleasure of murder, which he would do again and again. Did he murder, like, birds and cats and shit? That, I don't know. Uh -huh. The details of the original Cyclops serial killings case have become nebulous over time. Right. Even the official investigation material contains nothing of value. I am unable to draw any conclusions from them. Right. You really have no idea? If I did, I would tell you. Yeah. About Rohan. 18 years ago, Rohan took a woman's eye. She was already dead. He put his finger into her eye socket and gouged it out. Oh my god. The reason why was simple. He was fascinated by women's eyes. What? Their beauty stimulated his greed and his desire to possess them. Ugh. He needed to have them. To make them his own. Ugh, that is, uh, Rohan, holy shit, Driven man. by this instinctive impulse, he took the woman's eye. From then on, he acquired a grotesque obsession with the eyes of dead women. He was very particular about his need that the eye belonged to a deceased woman. I guess taking the eyes of alive women would be a, a bit of a, a bit of a more complicated matter. But even being the head of a Yakuza gang, 
There weren't too many opportunities for him to indulge. Logically. His deepest, darkest desire went unfulfilled for years. However, he soon met his ideal partner. The murderous psychopath who is told. The aforementioned psychopath. The Cyclops killer would commit the murder, and Rohan would take the eye. Thus, a mutually beneficial relationship was established. Fucking hell. This was the origin of the Cyclops serial killings. At about the same time, you were assigned to Abyss. Summarize for me. The original Cyclops killer had an accomplice. There were two Cyclops killers. Yeah. One of them was the former chairman of the Kumakuras, Rohan Kumakura. Who kills himself. Rohan committed suicide by jumping to his death one year ago. Was it because he couldn't live with himself or something? That means... Pewter, tell me this. Mm -hmm. One of the original killers is dead, I know that. But that means one mm -hmm. remains. Who is he? After his fourth murder, he was arrested by the police. And maybe executed? They actually picked him up on other charges. But, in any case, he is currently serving a life sentence in Fuchu prison. <gasps> Is that the guy who was like, yo, come in, I have the identity of the Cyclops killer? Fuchu Prison? Yes. What's his name? In prison, he doesn't have a name. He goes by the number 87? He's simply called number 89. Yup. Number 89? Yup. I know who killed Shogun Adami. So, now you know why I said that. That the original Cyclops killer couldn't have committed these crimes. Yeah. Because one is dead and the other is behind bars. Neither of them had the opportunity. Right. Oh, hold on. Uh, what are we gonna tell? What are we gonna tell to um, Ota's mother? I don't even wanna oh, bro we gotta we have to tell her I really don't want her to experience this. The place was silent. It was so quiet I felt like I could hear the floating dust. I stepped inside, the thought it was empty, but I saw a shadow in the corner of my eye. It was Mayumi. It was like watching a decaying old tree cling pathetically to the earth. Oh boy. About Oda. Do you want to talk talk about it? This is your fault. Absolutely, yes. W wonderful. Wonderful powers of deduction. I heard from the police because you didn't take care of Iris. How? W what do you mean? My boy Ota got involved. Date. I looked into the investigation report. Mayumi confirmed Ota's body early this morning. Oh. I see. I'm sorry. I want to be alone right now. Did you not hear me? I said leave! <laughs> yeah. Date, let's go. Yeah, let's she go. She is in no state to talk. Yeah, you're right. Let's go. What a fun job! Hell yeah, Date, Date residence. Are we gonna talk with Mizuki? Hey, let's get Mizuki on this case. Let's go. Hey, oh, Mizuki, all your fr your family and your friends are dead. Where do you live, Date? Mizuki is curled up on the sofa. She looked like a small animal frightened by a predator. I bet you are a fishery cold storage warehouse. Oh my god, will you will you not talk as well? Oh boy. Well, this is fucked. Mizuki must know about Iris and Ota. Of course. The news was distributed heavily across the internet. Not just in Japan, but yeah. worldwide. Oh my god. Three days ago, Mizuki discovered her mother's body. Then one day ago, she discovered her father's Two days body. Ago, her father's. Oh, never mind. This morning, two of her best friends. Is, is it like everyone connected to Mizuki? Is Dari gonna be next? It is completely understandable that she is at her mental limit. Absolutely. Can I be left alone for a while? Are you okay? Bro, Dari, what, what do you think? Yeah. 
No. She certainly didn't seem so. But I can't see by her, Aiba, by her side. Contact uh, Abyss. See if they can get Mizuki a good counselor. Understood. I stayed with her for a little while, but we didn't speak. Having nothing more to say, I left. Bro. Oh my god. You know what's gonna happen? We're gonna go to Iris's mother? She's gonna be absolutely the same. She's gonna be like, Oh, I'm also absolutely in the got nothing to say. Hello. When I visited the Sagan household, I found to told me with a hollow look in her eyes. She let me in and asked me to sit on the sofa. I agreed and sat down. Oh my god, is she going to speak? After that, I couldn't say a single word. The heavy silence weighed on both of us. About Iris. Iris was my everything. We always went everywhere together. Whether it was buying clothes or going to the movies. Or taking a walk. Or going shopping at the supermarket. Oh no. When she was young, she would just hold one of my fingers. Her hand was too small to hold mine. Then it was two, then three. And finally she could hold my hand. But eventually, uh, she left my hands altogether. Oh, she started no. crossing her arms, being independent. Even though she needed constant attention growing up. Oh boy, no. What is this? Her memories are a part of this room. And always will be. When she was a baby, she fell off that sofa and cried and cried. One day, she tore up her picture book all over the floor here. Another time, she drew with crayons all over the window. She painted my portrait on Mother's Day. Scratches Aww. on the floor, chipped plates, burn marks on the table, stains on the cushions. Everything you see, it all holds a memory of her. Holy shit, the voice actress is so good. <laughs> Holy shit. I feel, oh my god, this feels so sad. But why? Oh no. Oh my god. Can you think of maybe I don't want to ask this? What the fuck? She lost her daughter, and you're like, well, back to business. Hitomi, my entire focus is on this case. Is there anything oh. at all you can tell me? I don't know if this is important, but... No, mm -hmm. please. Tell me. Please. I may have told you this already. I met Renju's wife Shoko twice before. Yeah? The first time at the wedding, the second time a month ago. That second time was in the waiting room of the prison. What? Prison? There's an acquaintance of mine from when we were younger. I visit them a few times a year. And by coincidence, mm -hmm. I saw Shoko. What? I don't think she noticed me, but... I recognized her as Renju's wife right away. She was there for the same oh. reason I was. To visit one of the inmates. Do you know who? No, mm. I don't. Of course you wouldn't. We didn't talk. Which prison? Fuchu prison. In Tokyo. Fuchu. Why is everybody in Fuchu? Prison. Everybody is in Fuchu. About Oda. Oda was one of my students. Really? I taught him in elementary school. I heard it from the police. Oda oh, tried no. to help Iris and ended up... Oh, I my don't God. know what to say. I have no words. <laughs> Not surprising. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, God. I'm and sorry to have bothered you. I'll be going now. At least give her a hug or something. Thank you. Thank I you. I don't... No, what to do? <laughs> Thinking about her. <laughs> Dante, please, you, you have to catch them. I will try. I will try. Please. <laughs> please. I will. I will try my best, ma'am. I will try my absolute best. My God. <laughs> Oh god. Trust me. Oh god, why is she so good at crying? <laughs> For all the voice actors, she's really good. She did sound like she was laughing there for a second, but like... Oh god. Oh no. Marble. Oh my god, what the fuck? Oh, this is so fucked. At least this investigation is going by really quickly. That's the best part. Are you okay, honey? Hell no. I'm just like, 
I'm depressed. Everyone is everyone is really far. About last night. Well, at three in the morning. Anyway. You know about it? It's on every channel. Oh my god. You have the face of a ghost. Do you want a glass? Hell I don't yeah. need a drink. I need information. Give me that shit. Give me like a Jaeger or something. Do you have anything? Fireball or something else. Well, let's see. I do have... I suppose you could call it intuition. The sixth sense. Tell me. Information about the incident, please. The Kumakuras are involved in this case. No shit. Remember what I told you before? About? That there's a relationship between Ren and the Kumakuras. Yep. Shoko also has a relationship with them. You know about her dealings with the Kumakuras, right? So basically, yep. two of the victims are linked to the Kumakuras. That must mm -hmm. mean they're involved somehow, right? Not two. Three. Is Iris as well? Three. Iris? No, not that one. The boy. What? He came here last night. Ota? Yes, from Matsushita Diner. He's linked to the Kumakuras as well. What? How? How? What do you Have mean? Have you heard the rumor? Which rumor? About Sosejima and the Kabasaki district. Is Sosejima like his late father or something? The basic idea is this. Eight years ago, So sold his land in the Kabasaki district for 30 billion yen. Half a year later, an explosion in the chemical plant, la 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 la. So bought back the land for 1 billion yen, almost like he knew beforehand that the incident would happen. Did So blow it up or conspire to blow it up? No, that wouldn't make sense. So wouldn't gain anything from that. He would end up with 29 billion in cash and 1 billion land. It's a net zero, but there's more to the story. The Kumakuras own a handful of real estate companies. They of course look mm -hmm. legit, but they're Yakuza fronts. Yes, of course. I'll call those real estate companies the KE to keep it simple for you. Mm -hmm. The KE followed in So's footsteps. They bought up land in Kabasaki. Mm -hmm. Now, back to So. Have you heard of the plans for the casino in Kabasaki? So was the one who came up with it. He's gonna build a casino? I was born and raised in Kabasaki. I remember the landscape of my childhood, and I loved it dearly. Uh, of course you did. But look at Kabasaki now. When I see images of the destruction on television, my heart aches like it's being chopped to pieces. Yes. But I promise you, I will revive the Kabasaki district at any cost. Casino yeah. Town Kabasaki will give new life to the city. Yes, absolutely. After that, So moved fast. He submitted the bills he needed to the National Assembly after drumming up support in the right places. The bills passed and it became an official government initiative. Decontamination efforts therefore increased at a rapid pace in the Kabasaki district. Because of the new building. At the moment, the area is still considered off limits. However, the air in Kabasaki is currently purified to such an extent that it has no negative effect on the human body. It's all because of so. If the plan goes smoothly, land prices in Kabasaki are going to skyrocket. Okay, yeah. And all that land is owned by the KE. Oh, that makes and a lot of so sense. Himself. That makes a lot the of sense. The land he bought back for one billion will be worth ten times that soon. Holy shit, He's that's genius. In shady business. That's genius. This is just another rumor, but the chemical plant exploding was no accident. It was done intentionally. Yeah, I kind of figured that. so and the Kumakuras, you mean. But mm. there's no hard evidence of that. Of course. It's just gossip. Yeah. Uh, what were we talking about again? Ota and, Ota the, and the Kumakuras. Oh, yeah. right. You know how Matsushita Diner is close to the Kabasaki district? Is it? Oh, yeah, it is. The chemical plant explosion made times hard. Foot traffic went down, sales declined. Did they take a loan from the Kamakuras? No wonder it closed down. Ota must hold a grudge. Someone caused that explosion. And if it was intentional, oh, he'd hate them even more. That's how I link Ota to the Kumakuras. But she said that it didn't decline, that it was just a little bit, there was a little bit less people. Thank you, Mama. I don't know if what you told me will lead to anything, but... 
Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to waste your time. Nah, it's all good. No, no, it was very helpful. I'm glad I can help. Even if it's just a little. Hey, a anything help? Well then, be seeing you. Come back anytime. Yeah, let's move. My busy headquarters. It's already 4.57? Oh my god. Time flies. I return to boss's office to report. Is boss dead or something? But I didn't see her anywhere. Oh my fuck. Please don't tell me boss is gonna- Where did she go? Is going well, to be dead. she isn't always here, correct? True. True. She- I sat down in my usual seat and decided to wait for boss. Yeah. Ah. What are you her. doing? I thought it would be easier to talk like this. What do we have to talk about? A summary of the investigation, perhaps? What summary? We don't have anything new. That's not true. Huh? Yeah, she's got I a point. I was curious, so I did some research about number 89. Ooh, please do tell. Uh, no. You don't know? No such person is listed in the family registry. Hmm. It is possible he is a foreigner, but his nationality is unknown. Gotcha. However, I believe it is safe to say that he was born and raised in Japan. Good. What's the relationship between 89 and Shoko? Unknown. I cannot determine if they have any connection. Approximately one month ago, Hitomi Sagan witnessed Shoko in Fuchu Prison's waiting room. I am unable to say for certain that the person she was there to visit was number 89. Mm -hmm. After all, Fuchu Prison houses 2,000 inmates. You, oh, that's... Yeah, there's no chance. But number 89 knew Shoko's name. Yup. I know who killed Shoko Nadami. Oh, yeah, exactly. That must mean that he knew her somehow. Or it he saw possible. the news. Or he saw it on the news. Who is 89? As you know, he is an assassin with multiple confirmed kills. He is currently serving a sentence at Fuchu Prison. For life, he was probably. in prison six years ago. That's what Pewter told us. After his fourth murder, he was arrested by the police. Right. And what about 89 in the new cycle of serial killings? Pewter claims that there were two culprits behind the original serial killings. Logical. One was the former chairman of the Kumakuras, Rohan Kumakura. But Rohan yep. committed suicide last year. Yes, he did. Huh. I'm actually kind of curious now. There's so much shit that could have happened. Like, oh my god, there's so much shit that could have happened. I'm super curious of what... Of what could have happened. Huh. Let me listen to that the rest of this. That one culprit still alive. Number 89. Oh, number yeah. 89 couldn't possibly have committed these crimes. No way, unless he has like an accomplice on the outside. He was in jail when each of the murders occurred. Absolutely. Correct. However, I do not believe it is accurate to claim that he had nothing to do with the incident. Why do you say so? I know who killed Shogun Adami. If he was telling the truth, his involvement is possible. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let's talk to number 89. That is probably the best choice. All right. Let's go. However, we need not go to him. We can bring him to us. If we plan we on syncing with him, it would be more efficient. Can you arrange that? I can. Absolutely. After cutting through some red tape, 89 was to be brought to HQ. He took considerable time to arrive, but for some reason, boss never showed up. Oh, no. Police headquarters, 8.56 p.m. Is boss dead? Oh, no. Is that boss? Nope, that's that thing. Oh, he looks pretty simple. That is pretty composed. 
And now his head Sorry is Sorry to interrupt your busy day, but I need you to tell me something. I'd appreciate your cooperation. He does have a pretty cool haircut, in a way. Yeah, I, I dig that. What's your name? Number 89. Your real name. I don't remember. It's been a while, man. Yeah, I guess I do. Ew, what is that voice actor? I want to say I know him, but I really can't place it. About a month ago, Shoko visited Fuchu Prison. Did she visit you? Was she there to see you? That's right. Mm -hmm. What did you talk about? Nothing special. You're in no position to lie. Yeah, nothing special. I was just like, she was going to bring me some chicken or something. I'm not lying. She didn't come to hear me talk. Then why did she come? To talk. To meet me. Meet mm -hmm. you? She probably just wanted to see me. Mm -hmm. What was Shoko playing at? Where are you from? Burkina Faso. Burkina Faso is a republic in West Africa. Population 17 million. Uh-huh. What are you doing in Japan? Burkina is that a real... Is that real? Is that real? No freaking way is that a real place. Burkina Faso. I... That... That is... A country in West Africa, never mind. I don't have time for your jokes. You're the original Cyclops killer, aren't you? That's right. I was one of the culprits behind the case six years ago. Mm-hmm. One of the two Cyclops killers. Oh, it's good that you admitted it. But I hope you're not lying. A long time ago. I don't remember exactly when. What's your relationship to her? A physical one. Ah. Uh. I'm kidding. She was just a business partner. <laughs> okay. I was like about... No, th th there's something about like not sticking your dick in crazy. There's probably s something about like not taking dick from crazy. Like same same shit. Who killed Shoko Nadami? All right. Let's get right down to it. Two days ago, you called Investigation HQ and said, I know who killed Shoko Nadami. Tell it. Spill That's the right. beans. Who? Hey. Don't be so hasty. We haven't agreed on a deal. You're gonna let me out of prison, right? Hell no. It's done. You've got a deal. All right. But to explain it properly, I need to tell you a story. It might take some time. Is that all right with you? I've got Please. nothing but time. Please do. Then let's get started. Let's go. Story of a lonely assassin. Ooh, what is he gonna talk about? Ooh, this is so exciting. Ooh. Once upon a time, there was a detective full of righteous justice. Yep, Let's call yep. him F. F found the evils of the world intolerable. Mm -hmm. F had no parents, no siblings, and grew up in an orphanage since he was born. He suffered every kind of abuse imaginable there. It led him to despise all the evils of the world. That sounds... Is that... Is, is he... Was he Batman or something? Fucking all the horrors in the world and shit, like, ooh, oh, I gotta rid the world of these horrors. I can't live in a world like this. It's impossible. I fucking hate people. <laughs> One day, F was chasing a thug down at the harbor. And then shot him in the head. Someone wanted for the assault and murder of women. Was it okay, you? Hey, I get it. I'll just throw down my knife. Here. Bro, it that's you. And you lower your gun. No. Was... Was the detective you? It's fine. I got nothing else on me. I'll go quietly. You know, I have a history with hospitals. I've been going to a special hospital for a while. Even if I get caught, it's all good. I'll come right back out again. Mm -hmm. What should I do next time? Just thinking about it gets me excited. Shoot him. Yep. Mm-hmm. Ooh, ooh, solid, uh, fucking six, six shot streak. The culprit was unarmed, but F never served a day in prison. The case went to trial for some time, but it was determined to be self-defense, and he was declared innocent. Cause he's just built different and he's based. If the truth got out, it would be a huge scandal for the police. People at the upper level were terrified of what might happen. So they had evidence fabricated. Ooh. F wasn't suspended or disciplined at all. So you weren't disciplined After at all. a while, he returned to his job like nothing happened. 
It's just your everyday Joe that shooting was a people point and for him. shooting people and stomping out the evil in he the was world. He ready to shed the morality that was weighing him down, holding him back. F still wanted justice, and he was willing to dispense it to the immoral one by one. He, is he legit Batman? Like freaking goddamn! Like I got an evil. He's like Batman, but he's like he's Batman. But if Batman killed, like. He's legit like, bro, if, if you kill a killer, the amount of killers, he stays the same. And he was like, bro, kill two. Kill three, goddamn. He became an assassin, a lone <laughs> gunman. No agent, no employer. Just me and gun. He was his own man. He was. He would build different. F believed that he was judge, jury, and executioner. But it didn't Hell last yeah. long. Hell yeah. One day, F got rid of a criminal we'll call X. X mm -hmm. was responsible for defrauding and killing an innocent old man for his life insurance policy. Holy shit. Turns out, X had connections. Someone wasn't happy that he died. Oh, Rohan no. Kumakura, chairman of the Kumakuras. X was a top executive of the Kumakuras at the time. Uh. Rohan ordered his men to find and kidnap F. And they kidnapped him. And then they were like, yo, bro, you can work for us. Shit's pretty I've good. I've done some research. I know you've cleaned up at least 18 pieces of scum from this earth, but somehow there hasn't been a single criminal investigation. Because I'm dad good. They're all treated as suicides, accidents, or natural causes. Yeah, because I'm just dad good. Amazing work. I'm impressed. How about you work for us? Of course, you have the right to say no. But then we'll beat the shit out of but you. But it'll be the last word out of your mouth. F was trapped. Even if he somehow survived, he would be looking over his shoulder for the rest of his life. He had no choice but to take Rohan's offer. Mm -hmm. Thus, F's self-employment came to an end. Now he just murdered because he was employed. He became a hired gun of the Kumakuras. Rohan even gave him a code name. Number 89. Falco. Ooh, badass. Named for the falcon, a bird of prey. Falco. He was, he, his partner was named Fox and they had Slippy as the co-pilot. Falco didn't quit his job as a police officer though. He worked as a detective by day, assassin by night at the will of the organization. God damn. An ordinary killer would need motive to take a life, but not Falco. He did as he was told, one target after another. Pew pew. It didn't take long to destroy his heart completely. Mm-hmm. Man, Falco is uh, a badass. And Falco, who by this time was exhausted in body and spirit, made a fatal mistake. Killed the woman. He missed his mark and ended up taking a bullet to the stomach. Ouch. Somehow he managed to escape. After reaching a nearby shrine, his legs finally gave out under him. He had no Ooh. strength left. He put his oh, back no. up against the shrine and let out a moaning breath that he thought might be his last. And then the Shrine Maiden but came out to help. that moment. A Shrine Maiden came, came out to help? In his darkening vision, he saw a woman approach him. Is that... Is that Iris's mom? He watched her take out her phone and dial for help. At the same time, he heard footsteps. Footsteps of at least two people closing in. He knew immediately that they were after him. Oh. He sprung into action, grabbing the woman and pulling her close, kissing her to keep her from talking. Mm hmm. Holy shit, smart. Very that smart. That was the first encounter between Falco and the woman. She the was woman. a teacher at some school. It, it is her. It is her. It was like she was from a totally different it's, world than him. It's Iris's mom. Listening to her talk. He would forget everything about his line of work. She was his only contact with the ordinary, mundane world. They met in secret a few more times, and Falco felt his heart grow warmer. Oh, he was like the Grinch. His heart grew a thousand times or something. Her smile and kindness were like a cold glass of water for Falco's parched heart. Falco started to become himself again. His former self, he swore on his life that from then on, he would live for her. But she's still alive. 
So you should still be so, living for her. you wanna go clean? Fine. Yeah. Do as you please. You've done a lot for us. But there is one last thing. Let me guess, you have to kill the woman. One final job I want you to do for me. It's nothing major. This woman and her daughter. I need you to dispose of them. Fucking Iris and fucking Iris' mom. Should be simple, no? Fucking shocker. I can't believe Rohan it. Rohan handed Falco a picture of a woman and a girl. It was the mm -hmm. teacher Falco met at the shrine. Yep. And her daughter. She had just turned 12. Yup. Yup, yup, yup. Why the two of them? Rohan, as usual, never gave a reason. Just to, just to fuck with me. And Falco had no intention of carrying out the kill. So he shot Rohan. But if he didn't, he knew that someone else would. He thought long and hard. How is he going to keep them safe and get out of the life of crime? He couldn't find an answer, no matter how hard he thought. Did, did he shoot Rohan? He was backed into a corner. So, he decided to call on an old friend for help. Ooh. And then... Old friend? Silence. For some reason, he wouldn't open his mouth again. Uh, he's not talking. Rick, this is super interesting. Why did you stop? What the hell, Why man? Why did you stop? What's the connection between that and Shoko? What's the connection between that and Shoko? Oh my God, was that, was the, that whole the whole story? Hell no. You mentioned the detective. You mentioned a detective. That's him, bro. Answer me. Hey, answer me. This is a transaction, remember? Yeah, he's gonna now ask for payment. Until I get a guarantee that you'll uphold your end of the bargain, I'm not telling you anything else. I'll give you half up front, half later. <laughs> Big if you want to hear the rest of my story, you better start the release procedures. Once they've cleared, I'll tell you everything. How do I know that she'll tell me everything? I'll, I'll half release you first and then half release you later. Date, it is unlikely that number 89 will uphold his promise, even upon release. Pewter. Yes? Start the preparations. For what? Sink. What do you think? <laughs> the sink. Yup. Uh-huh. I have injected number 89 with the usual dosage. He will Good. not be waking up anytime soon. Good. Are you ready, Agent Dante? Hell yeah. Yeah. The time Beam me in. Six minutes. I know. Beam me in. Let's begin. Beam me up, Scotty. Going inside the mind. Hmm. A ceiling fan. Is this just gonna be like a normal room? Oh look, I'll be sleeping. Sup? Bruh, Iba. No, not sup. Why are you sleeping on the job? Yeah. Because I want to, obviously. The screen shake. <laughs> Why are you getting mad at me? Yeah, this rug feels so good on my skin, yeah. What the fuck, Iba? Why are you suddenly a cat? Playtime's over. Let's begin. And stand up. <laughs> what is, is going on? Is this the on? Sagan residence? It definitely is. But why? Oh, it Number is. Number 89. What were you up to? This was the dream of Date as well. What? Oh, it's Jello. The green? I do not think I can pass through it. Really oh, no, it's Jello. It, huh? Okay, new plan. Somnium scan. Activate. Eat the Jello. Mental lock one on the phone. Mental lock two on Iba. 
Mental lock three on the window. Mental lock four on the door. Mental lock five. Nope. Close the door. This appears to correspond to the green thing. Hmm. 89 is hiding in the past. 89 is covered in a green membrane and can't get close. Okay, guys. Oh, this is... Okay, nice. This is straight, but uh, we have a straight path. But, guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of AI The Somnium Files. My name is Nirno, and I hope you have a wonderful morning, day, evening, or night. And I'll see you next time, which I guarantee is going to be quite exciting. Goodbye.